elastic collisions in one dimension. In this video, we are going to talk about elastic collisions in one dimension. So let's begin. Let us consider two bodies of mass m1 and m2 are moving with velocities u1 and u2 equals to zero respectively, which simply means that the first body of mass m1 is moving with velocity u1 and the second body of mass m2 is at rest. If the collision is elastic, then the two bodies will move with velocities v1 and v2 respectively. In order to explain this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a picture based on the given information. So my first picture is before the collision where body of mass m1 is moving with velocity u1 and a body of mass m2 is at rest because the second body is not moving. Now, this is our second picture after collision where body of mass m1 is moving with velocity v1 and body of mass m2 is moving with velocity v2. Then the total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision. So let's substitute the value of momentum before and after collision. And if we do that, we will write m1 u1 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2. And let this is our first equation. Now let's talk about the kinetic energy. Since we know that the collision is elastic, so there is no change in the kinetic energy and the kinetic energy is conserved. So we will write 1 over 2 m1 u1 square is equal to 1 over 2 m1 v1 square plus 1 over 2 m2 v2 square. And this is our equation second where this is our initial kinetic energy and on the right hand side we have our final kinetic energy or I should say the kinetic energy after collision. Now let's simplify equation 1 and if we do that we will write m1 v1 on the other side with m1 u1 and if we do that we will write m1 u1 minus m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 and I can take m1 common so if I do that I have m1 inside the bracket u1 minus v1 is equal to m2 v2 and this is our equation number 3. Now let's simplify equation number 2 which is basically the equation for the kinetic energy and if we do that we will write 1 over 2 m1 u1 square minus 1 over 2 m1 v1 square is equal to 1 over 2 m2 v2 square. As you can see 1 over 2 is common so we can cancel 1 over 2 from both side and on the left hand side we have m1 common and if we do that we will write m1 inside the bracket we have u1 square minus v1 square is equal to m2 v2 square and this is our equation number 4. Now let's divide equation 4 by equation 3 and if we do that we will write m1 u1 square minus v1 square over m1 u1 minus v1 is equal to m2 v2 square over m2 v2. If we simplify this expression we will get u1 plus v1 is equal to v2. Now let's substitute the value of v2 in equation number 3 and if we do that we will write m1 u1 v1 inside the bracket is equal to m2 and my v2 is u1 plus v1 which is over here. Let's simplify further and if we do that we will write m1 u1 which is over here minus m1 v1 over here is equal to m2 u1 over here plus m2 v1 which is over here. Let's simplify further to find the value of v1 and if we do that we will keep our v1 terms all together. So this m1 v1 will go on this side and m2 u1 will go on this side and we will write m1 u1 minus m2 u1 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v1. Now let's take the common terms and if we do that we will write m1 minus m2 inside the bracket times u1 is equal to m1 plus m2 times v1. Let's find the value of v1 and if we do that we will write v1 is equal to m1 minus m2 over m1 plus m2 times u1. In the same way we can find v2 which is equal to 2m1 over m1 plus m2 times u1. Now 
we have two cases based on the mass of the bodies so our first case is if the masses are equal this simply means that m1 is equal to m2 or in other words we can say that two bodies have equal mass then we will get v1 is equal to 0 and v2 will be e1 and the way we are finding these values by substituting the value of m1 and m2 over here and m1 and m2 over here case 2 case 2 is if the second body is way heavier than the first body then v1 is approximately equal to the negative of u1 and v2 is equal to 0 and this is how we define the elastic collision in one dimension